Your turn. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Fletcher Tabato. Mr. Speaker. <coughs> I rise on behalf of uh, Richard Prosser to take a call on the New Zealand Horticulture Export Authority Amendment Bill, uh, second reading. Um, it's, it's like the industry, you can just picture it actually, sir, it's like the industry uh, came to a government representative and said, uh, we want to tidy this up, we want to fix a few things up, we need to modernise it and we need to um, elevate our game, but we're going to need your help in legislation. So you can imagine one of those uh, MPs on that side of the house there going, so, so what do you want? Well, what we need, they would tell the government, is we want to be able to effectively charge higher prices, um, uh, increase yield through an integrated approach, and we need uh, legislation to do it. So you can just picture the MP on that side of the house going, OK, OK, but it's going to take quite a long time to make it happen. And the industry rep says, no, we need you to do it now. It's critical. We need it to happen. And the national MP going, well, OK, OK, we'll, we'll help you out. We'll do it now. But what if we add this to it and this to it? And the industry rep going, no, leave it alone. Don't touch it. It's good as it is and this will work just how we want it to. And the National MP goes, well, well, OK, OK, we won't do that, but what if we add this? And you can just picture the industry rep looking them in the eye saying, leave it alone, do it. And I say that, I, I take that creative licence in the House today because this is a good piece of legislation that does what it seeks to do in a simply eloquent, straightforward way. So it made me think, that those on that side of the house did not write it. So they couldn't have, is basically the summation there. So, Mr Speaker, uh, New Zealand First is supporting this bill because we do believe it will achieve its um, uh, written objectives. And I, I will take um, some of the time of the house this evening just, just to um, enunciate why uh, we think that is the case. Um, so you'll forgive me um, for um, using uh, some script here for specific detail, but what we're doing is amending the 87 Act to provide more flexibility, which is what uh, the industry, um, they did, they did come to the government to say we need this flexibility uh, for the growers and exporters of horticultural products so they can target their marketing strategies to meet the needs of specific markets. So originally, um, well, the, the group was uh, achieving its goals, um, but as they um, said and as the contributions noted, uh, they needed the update, and uh, I think my little skit illustrated uh, what that conversation looked like. Um, there is some administrative processes that were cleaned up. Uh, there was clarification around the requirements for uh, the product groups or, to or, enter. Order, I'm going to ask the member to resume his seat. Yep. Um, all, all members have in front of them the explanatory note of the bill. And, and reading the explanatory note of the bill, even with a few insertions, um, doesn't add anything to the House. And, and I will say at the same time, I realise the member is not the member who's familiar with it. But unless someone is a member, including a minister, in charge of a bill or asking a question for another member or replying a minister or a member replying uh, for another minister or member, one doesn't do it on behalf. Uh, the member, the member is speaking, and, and the requirements are the same. But can I ask him if he's got something to say to say it, but not just to read out the front page of the bill? Thank you. My apologies, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, my notes were such that I thought I was um, speaking uh, 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 words to the effect of the front page, but not the front page itself. So uh, I apologise uh, to you. I, I uh, can read that. it. So um, uh, what we're talking about, we've got the export marketing strategy, we've got an office holder. Um, so the, the administrative update, which I apologise for reading in the exact de detail, um, in terms of the unavailability of that person and um, conflicts of interest and um, making that a notifiable uh, process uh, for the group. Uh, but what I think 
um, is important uh, from my perspective and from New Zealand First perspective was the changes to the tiers of the licence, uh, Mr Speaker. So uh, what we had was an inability to be responsive. Uh, the industry came forward and said, uh, we've got a two-year process. Uh, it's probably taking too long, and I think that comes back to the flexibility noted um, uh, in contributions earlier today and from myself, actually. So what it would do was we would have a two-year turnover and that was actually holding back some of the industry players who were wanting to be a bit more responsive to the needs of the market and, or, in fact, potential markets, and so they moved uh, to the one-year process. So uh, those concerns were raised and they were dealt with. And, in fact, uh, the um, Persimmons Association uh, agreed that the flexibility would provide practical options for exporters. Um, who wish to use that second tier process, which was um, and is important, as we know. So, um, because uh, the speaker has been quite strict on me in terms of uh, uh, detail, and perhaps I might acknowledge a bit of repetition, and I don't want to waste the House's time, I do want to add and conclude, though, that. Yeah. The challenge, and I think it was spoken of before that um, uh, from one of the previous speakers uh, from Labor about uh, the goals of the New Zealand export market set by that government um, over there, the national party members over there. And it was at the time what looked like a very sensible and achievable goal with regard to growing exports as a percentage of GDP to that 40 per cent mark. And so what we have here is almost a fluke because industry players actually have come to uh, the members um, opposite and said, we want this legislation. And what do you know? Actually, we've got legislation that will enable, uh, we believe, a growth in quantity and an increase in yield from that quantity, which is just as important in New Zealand First's um, uh, uh, position on exports, sir. We do want that value add and we support efforts uh, that make that happen. So we do want to uh, support the growth of volume and yield. This is a win-win for industry uh, and New Zealand and we um, would be... Um, well, there's, there is no reason when you read the legislation in detail to oppose it and so uh, we hope that achieves what the industry set out to do. But we do note again um, that the buy-in is optional and the uh, measure of participation going forward has yet to be established. So uh, we do watch and we hope uh, that the industry, having set um, that uh, support uh, through legislation, um, uh, uses it and it does achieve the goals for which they intend. So uh, thank you for your patience, Mr Speaker.